Greetings. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey, exploring the world of networking solutions. To install in your Proxmox server, we are going to show you an app that you can use to replace your VPN. It also uses zero trust and is also built on WireGuard, so it's very secure. You will be surprised how easy it is to install this in your Proxmox server. This is a good alternative to NetBird and a lot easier to install and use. It is a lot easier to install and set up than TwinGate. This installs in Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. We will be running Tailscale in our Proxmox server. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the brilliance of this video. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not, he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Josh. Hi there. Today we are going to install Tailscale in our Proxmox server. This is probably one of the most simplest and yet effective VPN replacement softwares that you can use. You may ask, what is Tailscale? To answer that, we have prepared this section of our blog page. By the way, the instructions for this video can be found in this blog page. The URL for the blog page is provided as a link down below. Now, what is Tailscale? It is a VPN replacement using the Tailscale software. Tailscale is zero config, which means there's a minimum configurations required and it makes the setup quick and easy. It works with peer-to-peer -peer communications. The two devices talk direct to each other. Tailscale uses WireGuard for the encryption and the security. This means you have excellent security on the network when using Tailscale. Furthermore, Tailscale is cross-platform which means you can install it on your Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS tablet or phone, and Android tablet or phone. Tailscale uses zero trust. This means we don't log in with passwords, which can be cracked and hacked. It uses identity providers like Google and social media or GitHub. With that, let's get our hands dirty. Now, if you go to this link and click on this link, it will take you to the download page. Since this is the Linux laptop, we will click here on Linux. And if you look here, here is the command. And then you copy the command and paste it into the terminal and run it. And now we need to run this command, sudo tailscale app. Copy, paste, and it will give us a link. We need to copy this link. Copy link address, and now we open that in the browser. And we sign in with our Google account or our GitHub. We'll sign in with our Google account. And then here is the link to the console. So if we look here, we can see what devices we have. We have our Dell laptop connected. Now we're going to do the same with the Proxmox server. So go back here, copy this command, 
open the Proxmox server. Open the shell. Paste the command here. And again, we run tail scale up, but you notice it didn't put sudo there because it recognizes we are root. Copy, paste, and now we need to use this URL here to do the connection. Copy, and go to the browser. One more connection is needed. Paste the URL and press enter. And connect. And we have now succeeded. Now if we open the console, you can see in addition to the Dell laptop, we also have our Proxmox server. I want to use this IP address. And I'm going to go in the terminal here and do a ping. And you can see I have network connectivity to the Proxmox server using that. If I am anywhere, I will be able to connect to my Proxmox server at home using this connection. And I should also be able to do the opposite as well. Let's go and copy this IP and go into Proxmox and do a ping. As simple as this you couldn't get. We have provided in our blog information for those who want to use Docker to do this. However, we found this so simple that you probably won't need to do this unless you are rolling multiple machines out using Ansible playbooks. In that case, this would be very useful. Now that we have succeeded to create network connection between the laptop and the Proxmox server, let us use this tail scale connection. First of all, we have provided the link here to log into the console. Since we've already logged in, we can see the, the status of the machines. They are both connected. We also have a link using the IP address provided by Tailscale to the Proxmox server. We are talking about this IP address here to our Proxmox server. With the port 8006, we should now remotely connect to our Proxmox server. And now you can see that we have succeeded to remote connect to our Proxmox server. And the beauty with this is we're not using port forwarding and creating holes in our network. I am sure you will agree with us that this was an extremely easy installation to do. We trust you find this very useful. Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel so that we can reach our target. And with that, back to you, Josh. We got to install Tailscale and were surprised with its ease of use. It also uses zero trust and is also built on WireGuard, so it's very secure.
This is a good alternative to Netbird, and a lot easier to install and use its a lot easier to install and set up than Twingate. Running this solution in a Proxmox server is incredibly useful. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Your dedication to exploring Proxmox's capabilities is invaluable. Stay tuned for more insights, automation, and empowerment through its incredible tools for your home lab. Please like and comment to share your feedback and suggestions for our channel. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials, ensuring you never miss out on informative videos. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. For those eager to deepen their knowledge, consider becoming a Patreon supporter for exclusive access to upcoming training courses, enriching your expertise, and supporting the channel. We genuinely appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more enriching content with you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and continue harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.